Thank you to Books for sponsoring today's video. The Books Palma is a unique e-reader that fits right into your palm. In this review, I want to take a closer look at the Books Palma and all of its features and really discuss who this device is made for. Now, if you're not familiar with e-ink devices, it just means that the screen of the device mimics the look of paper. And also, these screens are usually better if you're using it for long periods of time for your eyes, just because of the nature of the screen and the fact that it doesn't emit blue light. Now, what makes the Palma so unique is its size and its form factor. It looks just like any regular phone, but it has all the features of an e-ink device. And it's also super portable because it can fit into most bags or even just into your pocket. So the first thing I would do in this review is just taking a look at the Palma as just an Android device and then we can take a look at it as an e-reader. So yeah, the Palma does run Android 11, and this means that we have access to a lot of familiar features that we get on other Android phones. So we have all the basic navigation that comes with an Android device, like swiping up to exit an app, swiping up at the left-hand side to see all of the open apps on your device, swiping down from the right to see your control center, and swiping down in the middle of the screen to access all your notifications. So very familiar navigation. What's also really helpful with this device is the e ink center, you just swipe up at the right hand side of your screen and then you see this menu pop up. So in this e-ink center, you can adjust the speed and refresh rate of your display or the display in certain apps. You can adjust it for each individual app. So for instance, in reading apps, you might set it to HD, whereas in apps like Instagram, you're gonna set it to fast so that it actually refreshes when it comes to viewing videos or things like that. Otherwise, it's gonna look very glitchy. So this is just a really helpful thing to be able to get the smoothest experience for each app. Overall, I don't have any complaints when it comes to the speed of the Palma. It has an octa or CPU as well as eight gigabytes of RAM, which all just helps in making it feel nice and fast, even with all the limitations that you have when it comes to e-ink technology. Now, this is actually how I've set up my Palma. As you can see, you can add custom widgets and wallpapers. And this is something that I really like when it comes to devices like this. I just like to customize it to feel like my device. So this is really nice. You can also have multiple home screen pages with different apps. So for my first main page, I just kept it clear with just a widget and all of my most used apps in the dock. And then the second page is just filled with all the rest of the apps on the device. So as you can see, having Android 11 on the Palma means that we have access to the Google Play Store and some of the apps on there. Not all apps will be supported, but all the apps that I want to be using on this device luckily is. So I have downloaded the Kindle app, the Libby app, the Bible app, the Kobo app, basically just reading apps. But you can download apps like YouTube, Instagram, or whatever you want for this device. But those apps will have limitations when it comes to performance just because of the nature of the screen. We do have 128 gigabytes of storage on this device and you can even expand on that with the micro SD card slot but I don't think that's going to be very necessary especially if you're only going to be using this for reading but if you need the extra storage, the option is there. Some other interesting little features or things that the device has is the fact that it has a camera in the back with a flash. So you can use that to like scan documents or things, but I don't really find myself using it at all. But if that is something that you're gonna wanna use, it is there for you. You can even just use the flash as like a regular flashlight as well. And it also has this bonus button at the left-hand side of the device, which you can actually program to do whatever you want. But at default, it is set to a refresh button Button. So if you have any ghosting on your screen, which is very typical of e-ink screens, then you can just click that and it will refresh your page, which is also really helpful. And I've actually used this button quite a lot when I've used the device. So that's everything about the Android experience on this device and just some of its features. Now I wanna just take a look at this as an e-reader and the reading experience on this device. Now, when it comes to using the Palma as an e-reader, I think this is where the device really shines and I do recommend it as an e-reader. I was worried that I wasn't gonna like the six inch size of the screen. I was worried that it's gonna be too small, but I really didn't mind it at all. And obviously in most apps like Kindle or Libby or whatever you're using for reading, you can also adjust the font to be the right size for you. So it really didn't bother me at all the size of the screen. And like most e-readers, you also have the option to adjust the brightness and the warmth of the screen of your device. And if you're a night reader like me, this is really nice, especially when you're reading late night, to have the warm light on, just so that it isn't as harsh on your eyes in the low lighting conditions. Probably my favorite thing about the Palma is having all my reading apps on one device and such a small and compact device that I can take literally anywhere with me in any pocket or bag. I can read my Kindle books, my Libby books, my Kobo books, even audiobooks all on this device 
and like I said, it's super portable. I mentioned this in the unboxing, but in the past, I could also only read the Libby books on my phone because I can't send Libby books from my phone to my Kindle, which you can do if you're in the US, but outside of the US, this is not an option. So I had to read all the Libby books on my phone, which I just really didn't like the experience of. Once you read on an e-reader, you don't really want to read on your phone again. It's just not the same experience. But with this, now I can read all my Libby books and that's what I've been reading a lot lately. Just because it's so convenient, I don't have to pay any money. It saves me money. So I don't have to buy any books because I just borrow them from my library and it's on an e-reader, which I love reading on. So yeah, that has been really one of the highlights for me. So I can have multiple platforms where I can find books and read them. You even have a default library app on the books Palma, meaning that you can import any e-books or EPUB books onto the device and read them in that library, which is also really nice if you have any books like that that you want to import. As for my overall reading experience, I've enjoyed reading on the Palma. The size, like I said, doesn't bother me. And it's actually just really comfortable to hold in the hand just because of its size. It just fits in your palm perfectly. And I can even listen to audiobooks on here because it has built-in speakers, or I can just connect my AirPods to the book's Palma and listen to it that way. And also just another feature that I want to mention is that you can use the volume buttons as page turning buttons if that's something that you also want to do. I did also enjoy testing this out and it's just a nice bonus feature that you can also do on here. So now we've taken a look at the Palma as an Android device and an e-reader. I just want to bring all my thoughts together as to who this device was actually made for. So I do recommend this device to anyone who's looking to use it as a reading device, as an e-reader, just because you have so many different reading apps on here that you can have at your fingertips. And also it has an e-ink display and the smaller size makes it really comfortable to just carry around with you as an additional device to maybe like your phone. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. Now, I don't think this is for someone who's looking to replace their regular phone with the books Palma. It just has a lot of limitations when it comes to viewing different types of medias like photos and videos. You also don't have the option to add a SIM card. So the only way to access a cellular network is over Wi-Fi. And overall, it just has a lot, a lot of limitations when it comes to regular phone usage, which I just think it's not gonna be such a convenient experience for you if you wanna use this as just like a regular phone. And the last thing that I think you need to take into consideration when deciding to get the books Palma is its price point. It is $300 which is a high price point when it comes to e-readers. I really like this, so I think if I had to spend the money, I would just because of all the things that I can do on here compared to other e-readers that I've used. I like the fact that I can have all my reading apps on one device and has even additional features to just reading that I can do on this device, but it's really gonna come down to each person's personal experience and budget when it comes to deciding whether the price point is worth it to pay for you. But like I said, I have had such a blast using this device and testing it out over the, like maybe like a month that I've been using it. So I highly recommend using it and testing it out if you can. So yeah, that was my review of the books Palma. I hope you learned something new, got some more information about the device if you're thinking about getting it for yourself. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.